Hey everybody, Daniel Carfix here. This is me and my wife's 2015 F-150. It's a 3.5 EcoBoost. And today I have to do a basic uh, oil and filter change and I'm gonna do the air filter. And I'm also gonna rotate the tires. Um, so basically about the oil, I don't use Motorcraft, um, but this one meets the Ford recommendation and let me find it here somewhere. Um, it's, and it, it's this one. As you can see, Ford WSS M2C946A. This is the spec for the 3.5 EcoBoost oil. So what I do recommend, and of course it's a five weight 30 oil, uh, full synthetic. So I do recommend that if, if you're not gonna go with Motorcraft, uh, that you make sure that the oil you buy follows Ford specification. But, but I do have a Motorcraft uh, filter. Um, I find this is the best option and it's the least expensive. I bought these for like $4 in Amazon versus buying 10, 12, $15 in Walmart, um, one of those premium uh, oil filters. So I prefer to buy uh, Ford's, but the oil, I use Pennzoil Full Synthetic. And this is, um, yep, this is Motocraft air filter. So my truck is 50,000 miles. Um, and you know, I'm, I just like to follow some of Ford's recommendation. Um, and I'll talk about that in another video. But at least as far as the oil goes, I change it every 5,000 miles and every 30,000 miles I change the air filter. So let's get to it. All right, so first thing first, we need to get the cover off and these are eight millimeter sockets and they're gonna come off really easy. And I think it's four screws. So no big deal there. So now that you got the cover off, just make sure you, um, you know, just pull the lid so it doesn't create pressure. Pull the dipstick out a little bit so that helps the oil to drain a little bit faster. Okay, so here you got the, the drain plug and it's a 15 millimeter uh, ranch and it's right of course in front of the transition so you just loosen the plug and as you can see the plug shoots sideways so you got to have your oil pan kind of in a in a, an odd position but what I do here is once I loosen the the drain plug what I do is, you know, I just don't pull it out all the way. I let it trip a little bit. All right, so it shoots sideways. It's not the ideal positioning of the drain plug, but you know, it is what it is. You just let it rain. So air filter wise, very simple. You just have these clips. Just unclip these two ones and you pull it uh, towards the front of the truck. Get the old one out. As you can see, it's uh, you know somewhat dirty. I've tried cleaning it a few times over the first 30,000 miles, but you know there's just a point where it's just you know you just have to replace it. And of course, air filter is one of those things that uh, influence uh, fuel consumption. So make sure you always have a, a good one in a good condition, a new one, ideally. So just 
snap it in, slide it in, snap it, and that's it. Not rocket science. Okay, once it's just dripping like that, you're just gonna come in with the plug, and then we're gonna do the oil filter. So torque-wise, you know, this is an aluminum block engine, so don't over torque it. And that's it. You don't really need to torque this too much. So just be careful so you don't strip it. So the oil filter, um, it's in the front of the truck, so we're going to access it through uh, the front of the truck. So let's go check that out. And as you can see, there it is. That's the oil filter. So I'm gonna get a filter wrench and loosen it up. All right, so once you've loosened it up, you can just, you know, unscrew it with your hands and it's gonna drip some oil. And the tip here, let me show you, is to place the you know the your oil pan underneath this um you know metal protection here because this is where the oil from the filter is going to drip from so you kind of avoid making a mess right as you can see so let's get this unscrewed Okay, very basic stuff. When you take the old filter out, make sure that the ring comes out with it. So when you put the new in, you don't have two rings and it's eventually gonna, gonna leak. And also, get some of the new oil, right? And just lubricate the, the ring a little bit so just it, so it stays in place when you screw it in place so as far as the new filter goes don't tighten it with a wrench just tighten it with your hand as much as you can and snug and that's it that's all you need don't use any tools to tighten the oil filter the new filter in okay so once you've tightened the drain plug right so you've uh, replaced the oil filter uh, just come back with the cover, just tighten it, no big deal. Now let's lower the car and fill the oil. And uh, and the truck takes the 3.5 EcoBoost, takes six quarts of oil. So I'm going to pour five quarts, and then I'm going to start the truck for a few seconds, and then I'm going to pour the remaining one quart. All right, so last thing you want to do, you just want to reset the oil life, which is very simple. You just find the percent oil life and hold the OK button, and it's going to reset to 100% again. Um, so I, you saw there was 48%. Uh, this is the 3.5 EcoBoost. It's kind of a sensitive engine, any turbocharged engine. So I prefer to change it every 5,000 miles. I think it's worth every penny. And that's it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Um, the next video I'm going to do is going to be automatic transmission fluid change. So I'm going to do a pin drop um, and do a fluid change. So if, if you'd like to see that video, make sure you subscribe. Thank you.